This might look like sweat on my face, but it's actually badminton tears of sadness. Hey guys, Badminton Becky and American Living and Playing Badminton in China. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell, do all that. So why am I sweating tears of badminton sadness? It's because I'm all alone today. Aja is in another city playing a baseball tournament and I came all by myself to this club that I am familiar with, but I'm not familiar with anybody here. I mean, some said like hi to me, so maybe I've seen them before, but like I've never like, I mean, maybe I've played with them before like one game, but I don't remember them. So I feel like a real little fish out of water, but I thought it was a perfect time to talk about what to do. Like when you do go to a badminton club alone, cause I know, you know, I see on Reddit and stuff that people, when they travel, they want to find a badminton club and they just, you know, ask where can I play and what can I play and stuff. There is things to do, I think, to have more fun when you are all on your own and you don't know anyone and you feel awkward and uncomfortable. So here are my tips for going to a badminton club all alone. Show. As a woman player, I think it is a little different. Um, I kind of go hard right at the warm up. <laughs> like, I think, you know, they're already like, oh God, a woman, you know, especially like today it's like four men and there is another woman, but she came much later than me. Um, I do feel like I do have a little something, something to prove during my warm up, and I know maybe that's not like the most mature. <laughs> responsible thing like warm-up should be a warm-up should be a warm-up but you want to like prove start proving that like hey i can smash and you can smash on me and i can return your smashes and I, and i go hard you know what i mean i try to start hard when i go to a new court first impressions right so then they just see me as this like hard ready to smash woman player <laughs> I said, you know, that other woman, she also, you know, she came late, but I also came a little bit late and that's kind of one of my strategies. I don't want to show up early to a club like where I don't know anyone. <laughs> like I showed up, not late, started at four o'clock. I probably showed up at like 4.05 at the latest, but I don't want to be like the first person here just like sitting super awkwardly because then it kind of puts you in this like nervous mindset. You're already like nervous because you don't know anyone and everything. So it's like if you're like sitting here and there's like nobody here yet because you're like super early and maybe other people are playing and you're not sure like who's going to come and who's going to play in your group. And I think it's better to like arrive when the action has already started and you can put on your shoes and hopefully someone will call you to warm up like they did today or you just wait until you know they finish playing and then you get on the court. I feel like that's a slightly better strategy to show up just a few minutes late. Also today, kind of killing me. Like these people don't know that I'm sick and have a genetic health disorder. They just expect me to play. And so I'm not gonna make excuses or anything today. And I think another tip is just go with the flow. Just kind of like follow along with what they're doing. This other woman came and I was so excited because we played our first game. It was, you know, three guys and me. So I played um, back of the court. We played just men, just doubles. So the woman came and I was like, oh, thank God we could play mixed doubles because the back of the court is very tiring for me. And she started playing back of the court. So I was like, should I play the back of the court? And they were like, yeah, sure, play the back of the court. Like, we'll just play doubles. Like, whatever, like I like doubles for like a game or two. Those are the guys I'm playing with. But you know, we've played what, four or five games so far and I'm in the back and like my legs are jelly. You know, I physically can't handle this. But go with the flow, go with the flow. Also, and this just applies for people who are playing in a different language from their native language, <laughs> who are obviously foreigners, such as myself. I always try to speak a lot of Chinese right at the start, like, like how much, you know, and Zhao Yo and Hao Cho and right from the start, start speaking a lot of Chinese. So they know that I can speak Chinese. I've had my partner like literally like pantomime because some people think like if you can't speak their language, they like can't speak at all. They have to, like I had one partner that was like, <laughs> like he would just like do these creepy whispers because he didn't want to like speak a word. And I was like, I can speak Chinese, but 
He just kept doing this weird creepy pantomime. People are a little nervous here, playing with a foreigner. So try to set their mind at ease. I try to speak a lot of Chinese to them first. I also try to play nice. If you're winning by a lot, don't do a flick serve, <laughs> like that kind of thing. I don't wanna like play like a jerk and like, you know, maybe like against a woman player, don't give her a high serve. That being said, today, the people I am playing with, they are constantly giving me high serves. They are constantly smashing on me. Go with the flow is more important than, you know, kind of polite playing. So now I'm, I am aggressive, which is, they were aggressive first. So now I am aggressive playing too. I know one of, the, one of the tips was to be flexible, but also like tell people like what you need. You can see it's a really hot day here in Chapman. Probably the hottest day this year. And we were constantly playing. There's only five of us. So everyone keeps like, play, play, play. And that wouldn't be a good sport. I was just getting way too tired. And I just said like, I have to play mixed doubles. Like I gotta play the front. I can't play the back. Normally, you know, if I was with Daja, he he can see when I'm flailing long before I say anything. And he knows like when he has to cover for me and he knows when I have the energy to kind of run around and, and cover more of the court and when I don't. Some of my close friends, they also know that or I'll tell them, I'll be like, I'm really tired. But you know, these people are strangers and they're gonna be like, so I have this health disorder and blah, blah, blah. I just had to tell them. I was like, I have to play the front. <laughs> I'm like, the back is too tiring. <laughs> is that okay? And they were like, yeah, sure. And we lost because the guy was like, I'm not used to playing mixed doubles. Like, I'm, I'm not used to the back. But it's fine, you know? That's fine. Which is another tip. Be humble. I said, like, I go in strong, so I showed that, like, I'm a strong woman. But, like, I don't feel like I have to win every game and prove myself in the game. You just gotta eat humble pie. Be humble. Win, lose, just like still have a good attitude, have fun, make a mistake. Don't be like, God damn it, oh mother, you know, just be like, oh my bad, sorry, sorry. Don't take it too seriously, I guess, because you're just playing with a bunch of strangers, so you're not expected to win every game or to, you know, know how to play with them. You don't know their playing style. So of course you're not gonna like mesh super well as partners, unless there's some sort of synchronicity, but today there's no synchronicity. I mean, these people, they are very nice though. It's interesting. I'm also like much shyer filming in front of these people because they don't know that I film. Like my regular group and my regular clubs, and my regular time, like they all know that I film like all the time. So I don't feel shy, but these people like don't know what I film and they're like listening to me speak English. So like I've always been waiting, like whenever like someone comes to this next to me, I like put away my phone and I'm quiet and then I wait till they like walk away and then I start filming again. Even though obviously they see me and they can hear me, but I feel shy filming in front of strangers. Also, you know, I don't have come across this situation that much. Obviously I'm in Shaman where, you know, I know everyone in all the courts and I have a gazillion badminton friends, but also like, you know, I've come to rely a lot on Asha. The COVID years, um, we were never apart. He never went back to Taiwan and I never left the country. Neither of us left the country. So we together every week for years. So we always play together. Like if you watch my early videos, he's actually not in many of them, even though we were together at that point. Because when I started this and I was like, you know, super healthy and improving and training, I didn't really ever like consider him. Like I didn't care which court he wanted to go to or club he wanted to play. Like I wanted to play at the clubs I wanted to play. And if he came, that was fine but I probably wouldn't even play with him much in the night because I always wanted to play with like high level people. And then when I got sick, I couldn't play very well. So I had to really rely on him. And then it was like, wherever he wanted to go, I was like, that's fine. I don't care. So we started to go to all these different clubs. I was maybe a little embarrassed, you know, to play with my former club because my level had gotten so bad. So I would rather like play at new clubs that he found with strangers that like didn't know my level before and didn't know that I had gotten worse for like years, like four, five years maybe. We have always been playing together and he's like my partner at tournaments where before he wasn't. I will admit I used to be much cooler and more independent. Big change for me. Interesting realization. One other funny minor detail, um, 
Aja always brings, you know, several rackets because he breaks strings or if he breaks a racket or whatever. I only ever bring one, my precious racket, and you know, something would happen to this, I'll just borrow one of his. But since I came alone, I had to grab some random racket of Aja's, so I had to bring two rackets. I'm very glad I did. I broke the strings on my racket. I, I don't feel comfortable enough with these people because they're strangers. I wouldn't want to like ask them to borrow a racket. Luckily, I thought about it and I brought two rackets today. So, end of the day, let me show you my heart rate because I played my little butt off today. I was really Ren Jen. I was really uh, trying my hardest and now I'm super exhausted. So those are my tips for playing with strangers in a new club. I mean, obviously I have a bit more confidence because, you know, I'm in my city. Beautiful shaman. Look at everybody exercising on this lovely evening. Of course, I could have played tonight with my regular group and my regular friends, but I'm gonna meet a friend for dinner now, so I can't play tonight. This was my only chance to play with a bunch of strangers. It's badminton, baby, so it is always fun, even with strangers. I will admit it is more fun with your friends. But those are my tips. If you guys have any tips about how you deal with brand new clubs playing with all strangers, let me know. Wow, basketball courts are packed. Tonight, see, Shaman's a very healthy city. People all love playing the sports. And this is the uh, government stadium, so quite inexpensive. Okay, that's it. I will see you guys next time on the court. Bye.